Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work. And this is the Arcane Design Necronaut made by Riat Knives. And if you guys know Riat, they make incredible knives. Their quality, their fit and finish, their everything is on top. It's on the top of the charts. It's just they, they do incredible, incredible work. If you get a Riat, you can be dang sure that it's it's a good knife now whether or not it's it, what i'm specifically talking about is build quality action uh strength uh, you know fit and finish all that you know um but the design you know is the design so we're gonna get into all that here right now but first let's just take a look at what's inside the pouch you got a metal card that's really cool you got some stickers here's how you get a hold of arcane designs he was just recently on bob demarco's channel the knife junkie so awesome awesome packaging this thing is a very very nice packaging so this thing's pretty cool. Okay, so first off, let me just say, cool factors off the charts. This thing looks cool, and, you know, it's it's like one of those cool knives, you know? It just, it looks badass, and, you know, you you it's a looker. Let's say that. It's a looker. It is titanium. The blade steel is M390, and it does have... I think this is an aluminum pivot because of the redness. It is a, a type of coating that's probably baked on. We'll get right into the action, and then we'll talk about cutting. The action is really good. Very good action. It does have a minimal flipper tab with a little bit of jimping on the back of the flipper tab that works really good. Even though it's so small, you get a decent amount of leverage behind it and once the blade it's not really a strong detent i would call it a lighter detent i can easily fail it and if i really want to i can reverse flick it uh, so that says you know it's not a very strong detent but once you get it out you know and you actually attempt to flip it it just takes over so you can technically push button it, but it's kind of like an in-between push button and light switch, but the light switch is what it really likes. Access to the lock bar, um, there's not much, but it's not that big of a deal because it's still easy to access. The lock bar tension's not incredibly strong, so it's very easy to get to still. But, you know, it's not like you have, a, you know, you can... You can push it from the side, but you're kind of going in front of it, then at an angle. Then you have the flipper tab hanging off. This is squared off, so it'll hit you in the finger. Detent ball, nice and early, so you almost never have to worry about it. Now, it doesn't have a detent ramp, but it doesn't need it because... You see, it almost feels like it has one already, but it doesn't. But you never hit the detent, really. So... Now, um, <clears throat> this American Tonto blade, you can see it is a very wicked looking blade and it's heavy, like, you know, it's thick in the spine. So when you do unlock it, it just basically drops. It is on ceramic bearings that just drop right into place, nice and centered. And you can see how it has the shouldering to the stop pin. The stop pin size is a good size as well. I like to see that. Good size stop pin. Now let's talk about the size really quick and then we'll go to cutting. Three and a half inch blade length, eight inches overall. Great size for EDC. Here is the Hinder XM18. Same exact size or length, I should say. It's also the same size as the Benchmade Griptilian. So you can see it's a standard size for, for a large EDC or a full size EDC knife. Let's do some cutting with it and then we'll talk about the ergos with this unique handle. Honestly, I wouldn't have thought that it 
cuts as good as it does. It actually cuts relatively well. It's pretty thin behind the edge, but it's got a thick spine. And the geometry, I would say it's mediocre, but because of the height of the blade and the taper of the angle down to the, the edge, which is right around 15 thousandths behind the edge, it actually cuts pretty good. Um, I was surprised at how good it cut and how good it went through materials. Now, you don't have a lot of cutting length here, so it does have the tendency to want to pop out because you only have, you know, this small section right here for real cutting. When you get up to here, it's going to want to skate out. So, but as long as you keep it in that, that specific region or keep your, you know, the angle of your cuts right, it cuts great. Um, like, like I said, I, did, I didn't think it was going to cut as good as it did, but it does. Um, you know, just looking at it and feeling it and everything, it, uh, you know, it seems like it would be, you know, a little bit harder use cutting, you know, that you'd need to put a lot, you'd have to put a lot of pressure into your cuts, but that wasn't the way it was. It just, man, it blazed right through and I didn't really have too much of an issue besides slipping out. Um, I did not sharpen it. Um, the steel held up really good. I did strap it a couple times. But besides that, you know, the edge has held up just fine. I didn't use it like crazy or anything. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's so far, it's held up pretty good. Um, I can't speak on it about sharpening the steel and how it feels on the stone. But, you know, in cutting, it felt fine. Um, now, the the utility cuts is another one very very well the secondary tip right here you really get a lot of leverage into it and it's it's pretty pokey so it, it works it works really well now i know a lot of people are looking at this and wondering if it gets in the way we'll get into that in a little bit but not really not for the utility cuts at least not for me now you also have the primary tip up here which is a very very acute and very very pokey so you also have a lot of downward force into those cuts um and we'll go into the ergos here in a second and speak you know some of to some of that but the tip going through materials and the blade and the edge going through materials with utility cuts it cuts really good you can do shapes you can uh you know straight lines you have a lot of leverage with the cuts it's a nice confined tip and it works very well so no complaints for this on utility cuts. Now, going to the handle now, it is a, a unique handle. And just grabbing it, it's actually relatively comfortable. This little spot right here kind of nestles right into my palm. So it winds up being pretty comfortable but there is a couple things my fingers are a little big for this little spot right here i tend to land right there with my middle finger because i'm kind of pushed back right here it's not like i hold it all the way up here you know hold it back like that the, the jimping is you know spread apart pretty good but so you do get it does catch you you know it does create traction but this spot down here it, you know, I'm not a big fan of. It kind of feels a little awkward in my hand, but you know, I can still use it. I still have fingers that you know, m you know, manipulate and bend and go in positions of you know whatever the handle provides, and it, it works. Back here, you have the straight back design, which I do like. I'm not always a big fan of this taper, but sometimes it works out. And in this instance, it, it does. It just kind of nestles into my hand. Now for yours, it might be completely different. Reverse grip is not very comfortable. It is straight back here. So it actually does work out because it's straight right there. So you can, but if you're just going to squeeze it, it's not very comfortable. But in actual cutting, it ends up working out because it's straight. So you can kind of like just, you know run your finger straight across that spine um you know if you are going to spin it around i guess this does work out like this because you can lay your thumb right across and peek it right over the top right there so you know i could see where that might come into play and then also like i was saying with the utility cuts you get a lot of leverage back there because when you're holding it like this, it kind of goes right in the crook of your hand and allows you to get pressure 
downward. And, you know, my, my this little hump right here, I tend to use it also with utility cuts, wrapping my finger around it or holding it like this and kind of putting pressure up into my palm with the cuts. So the ergos are so-so, you know, they, they tend to work out really good in a lot of ways, but it's not the most comfortable. But, you know, like I said, it does create benefits as well. So, you know, it's kind of just like up in the air because I feel like I could have gotten the same leverage out of, you know, other handles probably a little bit better. Um, that flipper tab up here, um, you know, it didn't really get in the way of cutting or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't allow you to get to the, the table like this. You know, you see how much is... Let me get something. I'm just going to use this box. You see how it's kind of in the way. But you can just lift up and make your cuts. Or, you know, slide, use it. I mean, I guess you could use it as a guide or something. But let's talk about this clip and carry. The clip works very well very nice in and out of the pocket zero complaints how the clip actually works beautiful ramp beautiful amount of tension not too much tension it's easy in and out of the pocket it doesn't grab your your pockets it does sit you know where this you know ass end of it pokes out but you have something to grab onto and yank it out of your pocket so you know it, it carries just fine it works just fine um, I did feel this like kind of grabbing my, you know, my pocket sometimes when it, when I pull it out, sometimes it rub, but all in all, it, it carries great, carries fine, clip works good. Let's just talk about like the fit and finish work now, because everything is lined up really nice, big hardware. I love seeing big hardware, nice T8s. You do have the hidden screw inside there for the clip, the fit and finish work. It has a, a real good texture to it um kind of like a sabenza you know like the aluminum blast the titanium nice comfortable landing points you don't really touch any of the edge even right here with the tip it's nice and sunken down in there i mean fit and finish work is on point um it's react you know they do a good job um things are comfortable in a lot of places like the lock bar unlocking it um but just like all knives, we do have some bad things. So let's talk about it. What are some bad things? So one, I'm not a big fan of this choil. Um, it's okay, but you see how it's so thick and it drops down right there. So it's really, it, it's deceiving. It looks like you have more uh, edges to put on than you really do. You're only going to have like, uh, two edges maybe before it's going to create a smile um you know give or take i mean it's just i just would have preferred just a little tiny bit deeper and it's not hitting anything back here so it would have been nice to just have a little bit better of a choil um the plunge grind you can see it ends like right there you know it seems like like oh you have this whole thing as a choil no no the plunge grind, you can see the taper right there with the way that it plays with the light. It ends right here. So I would have liked to have seen that done a little bit better. Um, the jimping is uh, spread apart pretty big. Um, I, this isn't a knife I would use with a, a pair of gloves. I would hear this is an EDC knife. So I would prefer tighter uh, jimping. You know, not as aggressive where it's, you know, like a saw blade, just like, you know, just tighter, you know, closer together uh, jimping. I wish the spine wasn't so thick. This is, you know, it's not a big, it's eight inches. I know it's a full size knife, but it doesn't feel like, like a knife that uh, I'm going to get, like say here, let's pull out the Spartan Harsey like this. It doesn't feel like this kind of knife, right? It feels more EDCable. It doesn't feel like a hard use knife. So I don't know why it has a hard use spine on it. I mean, this is very thick. I love that they did this size stop pin, you know, so they backed it up with a good stop pin. So I I'm happy to see that. I mean, it makes sense. I'm not saying they didn't make it make sense because they kind of did, but this is thin. 
you know, it's not really the type of grip that you're going to be bashing and, you know, like it just, it doesn't feel like a hard use grip when I grip the knife. So the blade, it's just, I wish it was thinner. That's it. I wish it was thinner. I wish it was a little bit thinner through the drop. Now it cuts just fine, but it would be nice to see it thinned out a little bit. Another bad thing is I do feel a little bit of lock rock. It's not very much. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's very, very subtle, but it's there. It's not that big of a deal. I don't think it'll fail. There's no side to side. And if I just went like this, uh, maybe I feel a little bit, but not much. Um, but I imagine it might break in just over time. But it's hard to say it could get worse. So it is a thing. Um, next thing is this like this flipper tab. I think it's a little obnoxious because you know it's just it's a there. I can't really I can't put my finger up there with push cuts. It pokes me when I go like this. Um it, when I put my finger over it, like it pokes me to do the push cuts, so I have to be back here for the push cuts. And you know, it's just it's just so everything's let me just say this, and I understand why you did it this way, because the lines on this thing, everything's sharp. All the lines are sharp. Sharp angles, sharp angles, sharp lines, 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 sharp lines everywhere. I get it. It's cool. It looks cool. Um, but it doesn't benefit you. You know, usually the sharp lines thing winds up backfiring in use cutting and performance it doesn't always serve you good it looks badass but it's just for looks um it's better to have contouring and roundedness and there are some places where sharp lines are good um and it's just kind of awkward like i said you know like the handle it, it's comfortable in some ways and it works but then in others it's just i personally to be honest you know, just throwing out there, I personally wouldn't carry it. I wouldn't carry it. Now, I feel like this this blade and grind and everything is for hard uses, for scraping and prying, utility cuts, you know, some slicing when you need to. Um, but the handle doesn't feel like that. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of mixed matched. A um, lot of great things about this knife, and I do think it's very cool. Um, it, you know, like this... This taper right here, you see how this kind of spikes there and then out. It's kind of like a tail. Um, it winds up working out, but I do feel the clip quite a bit in my hand uh, because it narrows out right here. So the only place it can go is like right here in my hand, and it's not in a great place. It's, you know, I can make it work when cutting, but it does bother me pretty bad right here. So, um, yeah, all in all, though, there's not really a lot of bad. It's mostly nitpicks, and if this is your style of knife, and if you like knives that are, you know, like this, you know, sharp lines, sharp angles, and, you know, that type of design, then it might be perfect for you, because it does work. It winds up working out pretty good. Um, I just think there could have been a lot more benefits to it by doing other things. But for a Tonto with sharp lines and a unique design, they did a killer job. Killer, killer job. So, um, all in all, you know, like Riet did it. So, or, you know, <clears throat> Riet made it. And Riet always does great work. Um, yeah. There you guys go. There is the... And yeah, there you guys go. There's the Arcane Designs Necro Knot. Benjamin, thank you, man. Thank you for letting me check out some of your knives and supporting us, man. This one was definitely very cool and unique, and I was very happy to get it on the channel. I, you know, I seen it when it first came out, and it was definitely something very interesting. And yeah, Arcane Designs makes some really cool designs. Definitely check them out. If you don't know who they are, definitely watch the um the knife junkie podcast and check out the podcast with him 
It was a very good one. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.